As parents, we want nothing more than to keep our children safe. We install baby gates, cover electrical outlets, and lock away cleaning supplies. But despite our best efforts, there are some child-proofing hazards that many parents overlook, hazards that can pose serious risks to your little ones. In this guide, we'll delve into the lesser-known aspects of child-proofing that you might not be aware of, but absolutely need to know. These tips go beyond the obvious and address some of the hidden dangers in your home that could catch you off guard. Let's explore the child-proofing strategies that can help ensure your child's safety and give you peace of mind. Number one, secure furniture and TVs. The risk, furniture tipping is a significant but often underestimated danger in many homes. Heavy furniture like dressers, bookshelves, and even flat screen TVs can easily tip over if a child tries to climb on them or pulls on a drawer. What to do? Anchor all heavy furniture and TVs to the wall using anti-tip straps or brackets. Make sure that these anchors are properly installed into studs, not just drywall, to ensure they can hold the weight. Avoid placing tempting objects like toys or remote controls on top of dressers or TV stands, as these can entice children to climb. Number two, window safety. The risk, windows pose a dual hazard. Children can fall out of them if left open, and window cords can pose a strangulation risk. Each year, numerous injuries and even fatalities occur due to falls from windows or entanglement in window cords. What to do? Install window guards or stops to prevent windows from opening more than a few inches. Make sure these guards are childproof but can be easily removed by an adult in case of an emergency. Also, eliminate the strangulation hazard by opting for cordless window coverings or by keeping cords well out of reach and using cord shorteners or winders. Number three, button batteries. The risk, button batteries, commonly found in items like remote controls, toys, and greeting cards, are small but incredibly dangerous if swallowed. These batteries can cause severe internal burns and even death if ingested by a child. What to do? Keep all devices containing button batteries out of reach of children. If possible, use battery compartments that require a screwdriver to open and always check that the compartment is securely closed. If you suspect your child has swallowed a button battery, seek emergency medical help immediately. Time is critical. Number four, door stoppers. The risk. Many door stoppers, particularly those with rubber caps, can pose a choking hazard if the caps come off. Children are naturally curious and may pull off these caps, which can easily fit into their mouths. What to do? Regularly check all door stoppers in your home to ensure that the caps are securely attached. Consider replacing older stoppers with newer models that have a single, solid design, or remove the stoppers entirely if they aren't necessary. Number five. Laundry room hazards. The risk. Laundry rooms contain several hidden dangers, from toxic detergents to front-loading washing machines that can become traps for curious children. Laundry pods, in particular, are a major poisoning risk due to their colorful, candy-like appearance. What to do? Store all laundry detergents, especially pods, out of reach and in a locked cabinet. Keep your washer and dryer doors closed and, if possible, child-proof them with appliance locks. Also, consider child-proofing the laundry room door itself to prevent access entirely. Number six, kitchen hazards beyond the obvious. The risk, while most parents know to keep knives and cleaning supplies out of reach, there are other kitchen hazards that are often overlooked. For example, the cords of small appliances can be pulled down by a child, leading to serious injuries from burns or falling objects. What to do? Secure cords by using cord shorteners or by tucking them behind appliances where children can't reach. Place heavier items in hot appliances, like kettles and coffee makers, far back on the counter. Also, install stove knob covers or remove the knobs entirely when not in use to prevent your child from accidentally turning on the stove. Number seven, houseplants. The risk. Some common houseplants are toxic if ingested, and their leaves or berries can be enticing to a young child. Even non-toxic plants can still pose a choking hazard or cause gastrointestinal distress. What to do? Research all the plants in your home to determine if they are safe around children. Remove any toxic plants or place them in areas that are completely out of reach, such as on high shelves or hanging from the ceiling. 
consider replacing them with non-toxic alternatives like spider plants or Boston ferns. Number 8. Fireplace and Heating Units The risk. Fireplaces, space heaters, and radiators can cause severe burns if a child touches them. Even when not in use, these items can still pose a hazard if a child plays with them or if they accidentally turn them on. What to do? Install a safety gate around fireplaces and ensure that any heating units are equipped with protective covers or barriers. Unplug space heaters when not in use and keep them stored in a location that is out of your child's reach. Consider using childproof controls or switches for heaters to prevent accidental activation. Number 9. Bathroom Hazards The risk. Bathrooms are filled with potential dangers, from slippery floors to accessible medications and cleaning supplies. Toilets themselves can also be a drowning hazard for young children. What to do? Install toilet locks to prevent children from lifting the lid. Keep all medications, toiletries, and cleaning supplies in locked cabinets. Place non-slip mats in the bathtub and on the floor to prevent falls. Always supervise your child in the bathroom, even if you're just stepping away for a moment. Number 10. Garage and Tools The risk. Garages often contain tools, chemicals, and other hazardous materials that can be dangerous for children. Items like paint, gasoline, and sharp tools are obvious risks, but even seemingly benign items like nails or screws can pose choking hazards. What to do? Keep the garage door locked and install a childproof latch if necessary. Store tools, chemicals, and other hazardous materials in locked cabinets or high shelves that are completely out of reach. Regularly inspect the garage to ensure that no small items are left within a child's reach, and consider childproofing the garage door opener as well. Final Thoughts Childproofing your home is an ongoing process, and while it's impossible to eliminate every possible hazard, being aware of these often overlooked dangers can help you create a safer environment for your child. Remember, the goal is not to create a bubble-wrapped world, but to reduce the risk of serious injury by taking reasonable precautions. Stay vigilant and regularly reassess your home as your child grows and becomes more mobile. And most importantly, trust your instincts. If something feels unsafe, take action to address it. Your child's safety is worth the extra effort, and by addressing these less obvious hazards, you're giving them the best possible start in a secure and loving environment.